It's a Tuesday. It's a little chilly. It was a little rainy. It's a little cloudy, but we're going to put a smile on your face for the next two hours. We, meaning me and the bananas. It's the Mark Aram Show, 6 to 8 p.m. WSB. Second hour of the show, we got Would You Rather with Little Sanjay and some big news in Little Sanjay's world that uh, we're going to let him share on the air. Uh, does Alex Williams know this food? And uh, Tom Selleck. He's not joining us, but I'm going to talk about oh. Tom Selleck. Like Tom Don't Selleck's coming me in like I know. that. I know. Well, you wow, like? Wow, you got like, excited. I, know. I did. I know. I know. We're just going to discuss him. He's, oh, okay. Deb's working to get him in. He's still here. alive, right? He is. Yes, still okay, alive. Good. All right. Yeah. Don't scare me. Wow. Like, okay. Don't scare still me alive. Like we shot him nine times, and he's still alive. So worried, Godfather. Um. All right. So it's Christmas time, right? And traditionally, in American workplaces. You get, uh, in some in some instances, not so much anymore, back in the day, you would get the old Christmas bonus, right? I mean, that was the, the thing. And I think we did, uh, yeah, here's, let me play some audio, uh, Longoria. You remember in Christmas Vacation, and Clark, <laughs> yeah. Clark Riswald was waiting so for the big good. bonus. He was going to put it in the swimming pool, and he put down the deposit and everything. Excuse me. One of the best um, scenes. And then what does he get? A subscription to the Jelly of the oh, Month oh, Club. Oh. What is it? It's a, it's a one-year Membership in the Jelly of the Month Club. Oh, God. Clark, that's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year. That it is, Edward. <laughs> Edward. <laughs> that it is Edward. indeed. So, um, like, Clark uh, was expecting, like, I don't know, like a yeah, 30 grand bonus. bonus. Yeah. Like, he was going to put a, an in ground swimming pool, swimming pool yeah. in the backyard. He already had it already Deposit, planned yeah. out. And yeah. Everything. And he gets the, and that leads, I mean, I mean, it's not a spoiler that alert. That movie's 30 years old, but it yeah. was, uh, it led to some hijinks. Uh, but the Jelly of the Month Club, yeah, still, it's a pretty good gift. I guess. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, not if, you're, if you're expecting nothing and you get the Jelly of the Month, you're like, oh. oh. yeah. I've totally given somebody a Jelly of the Month Club, like, just along with other that. stuff. Yeah. yeah, because they oh. love that movie so yeah. much, yeah. That, that, I, I mean, if you're not expecting a gift and someone's like, I don't remember the last time I used jelly, but right. I, I would still be happy with, like, oh, oh, that's cool. All right. a, it's February. I got a marmalade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I got, marmalade. That'd be exciting to get a gift every month. Like, yeah. oh, what's going on? Anyway, I bring this up because there's a story out of Maryland. It's a, uh, a real estate agency that I guess specializes in business real estate. I, I don't know okay. anything about right. the real estate world, but I guess they rent spaces to businesses. Sure. Like business real. There's a, a phrase for it. I don't know, business realty. I guess that's the phrase. Anyway, Whatever. a commercial real estate. That's there the thing. Right. I knew there was a real phrase for it. Um, and they they surpassed like 10 million square feet rented out or whatever. Sure. So they gave out $10 million in bonuses. Oh, this company. Yeah. Okay. I think they have 500 employees. Um, and it, they the bonus was strictly on how long you've been with the company. So uh, I guess the average bonus was like $50,000. Yeah, I think it said fifty to 250000 Yeah, depending Holy on how long you were. Yeah, that's crazy. How? And that was on top of the company's annual year-end bonus. So let's say, I don't know, again, I'm this so far out of my depth in this, but let's just say you got a $10,000 bonus for being a good agent. Right. On top of that, you, you got fifty to 250000 I mean, that's life-changing money right there. Oh, Yeah. For some, maybe yeah. not for others, no, but for I, me, that would be like I'm changing money. Trying to wrap my mind <laughs> yeah, around it. Yeah, 250. Unfortunately, with bonuses, um, do you guys get bonuses here? I don't want to get too deep into your personal stuff. Absolutely not. I'll no. say it. You, say you guys no. are all nervous. I'll one, just say you're no. You're the only one that gives us bonuses. I give you guys bonuses, yeah. but the company yeah. doesn't. No. no. Okay. No. So, well, this, uh, you know. You don't get taxed for the bonuses I, I give no. you. No. The IRS is listening. It's under the table. You can go after them. <laughs> I've given them, won in the last two years, so you can't go after them. I've given yeah, them $120,000 in bonuses. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. I wish. But so I get bonuses uh, for for radio. Sure. For uh, for this show and for the Atlanta Atlanta's Morning News with Scott Slade. It's not much. It's it's closer to the Jelly of the Month Club than it is the $250,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's something. It's something. But it's the, the tax on bonuses yeah, is... It's so like well over 40%. It's insane. Yeah, yeah. so like Half if you get a $500 bonus, it's like if you clear 260 bucks, you're like, oh, all right. right. I mean, it's still free money, basically, but it's the, yeah. the bonus structure is taxed. Um, I want to know if, if, if Christmas bonuses are still a thing. So here at the station, I've been here over two decades, um... Things have changed, changed dramatically in the radio business, in the economy, whatever. When I first got here, we would get, like, amazing – we wouldn't get money, but we'd get gifts, like great radio gifts for Christmas. And then we'd have huge radio Christmas parties. 
One I year know, was I that, really missed the I, we missed the yeah. day of I've heard stories of the, like the, the Christmas they, we party. We rented out the Fernbank so Museum, bummed. like the Fernbank. It was like there was a T Rex in the middle of our Christmas party. It was it was quite amazing. That's awesome. But as things, I don't even know. Did we get anything last year from the company? Like a no. A blanket or something? Yeah, no, anything like that. Don't we that? get a turkey or a ham or yeah, something? Yeah, we get a turkey. They, yeah. stopped, do, they, I, really? they didn't do it last year. I got they didn't one. Do it I got one. Yeah, I got one Did last year. I got one last okay. year, yeah. yeah. You that, can either can get a turkey, a ham, or a bucket of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> bucket yeah, of that's fruit. right. Yeah, the, you ever try to uh, redeem those things? Yeah. yeah, yeah every year I do. Always. Yeah, but the grocery store looks at you like. Oh, yeah. they don't. Every year they do the same thing. They're like, oh, we've got to get a manager. I'm like, I did this last year. It's like it could be a scam. I can't get that. It does look like a scam. a $24 turkey. I mean, how often do you to get a free tur- uh, turkey coupon. Like yeah. I bet that doesn't coupon. roll through Kroger very often. Like just a whole free turkey. coupon. Well, I go to Publix for shopping's a pleasure. Exactly. Good job, Logan. Where's my bell? <laughs> Bot has to star the, the show for that. Uh, uh, so here, here's what I, I want. I'll talk about the bonuses that I've received here. Uh, but I want to know uh, what your Christmas bonus situation is at your company. If you have one now, or what it was in the past. Is it closer to the Jelly of the Month Club? Is it closer to the 250K, or do you not get one at all? 404-872-0750, 1-800-WSB-TALK. Apparently, in television, they get, like, a gift card and a piece of clothing. I, I've never received <laughs> Like either. a random piece of clothing? Like no, like a station, like oh, a station okay. sweatshirt. Like or, oh, okay. Shirt. Right. I, but I've, I've received some of the clothing sometimes, but I've never... Apparently, they give you like a hundred dollar gift card to some place. Oh, wow, you, you need but a I've whole ne- bunch. Yeah, they owe me twenty two hundred dollars in gift cards. <laughs> yeah, I've been yeah, here that long, good luck. but I've never gotten that. So that we're going to talk Christmas bonuses. 404-872-0750-1800 WSB Talk. Should give credit to the company that gave the twenty mil- ten million dollars in bonuses. It was uh, Edward St. John, the founder of uh, St. John's Properties. So the owner is Edward St. John. The company is St. John's Properties, and they did it. Uh, at the Christmas party, they surprised everybody. Nice. That's insane. Imagine you go to the Christmas party, like, ah, oh, we're Christmas party, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, like, then oh, you got 50 grand. Yeah, here's a check for $250,000. So, uh, Christmas bonuses, it is the Christmas season, 404 872 0750. Jake's in Duluth. Duluth. Duluth is on fire. What's going on, Jake? What's up, Bananas? How are you, sir? I'm good, man. Thank you. Uh, so last year, I work at a medium-sized software company, about 200 employees between here and Florida. And they didn't give us cash last year, but they gave us a pretty expensive Patagonia jacket with the logo on there. So it wasn't taxed, and it's something you can't really get anywhere else. I thought that was cool. I like that. How, I'm, I'm, I'm so unfamiliar with the – oh, he hung up. How much is a Patagonia jacket? He says they're very expensive. No idea, but yeah. I bet they're expensive. Yeah. But would you rather have it with the company logo, like Longoria Software Company, or would you rather have it just plain? Say that again? I'd rather have the company logo. Yeah. I don't need to advertise for someone else. No, but know? just plain, though. Well, like, well, it would at least have Patagonia on it, right? It I wouldn't know. be without I don't know that about logo. Patagonia. That's way out of my <laughs> uh, price range. Uh, Steve's up next on the Mark Aram Show. Hello, Steve. Hey, how are you? What's up, buddy? Uh, so, my company is a, a retailer. I uh, worked 30 plus years. Um, two weeks pay, first of uh, first of uh, December every year for over thirty years. So you get two weeks free salary every Christmas. That's correct. That's not bad at all. I mean, even no matter what you make, if you're making five hundred dollars a week or five thousand dollars a week, that's two weeks. Of, you're getting paid forty fifty four weeks for a fifty two week a year. That's correct. But they so but it's taxed is taxed as a bonus though, right? So you do have to pay. It, it, that, that's correct. It is tax as a bonus. If I ever run for president, and it's a okay. possibility, I mean, oh, anyone, wow. anyone could do it now yeah. these days, um, I, that that would be my platform. No taxes on Christmas bonuses. Oh, sweet. I will I will go after the war on Christmas, starting with the tax on Christmas bonuses. <laughs> you can tax Hanukkah bonuses. You can tax Easter bonuses. <laughs> but I will not let you tax Christmas bonuses. That would uh, that would get me the Electoral College that win, would. I think. Adam is in coming, Georgia. Adam, welcome to the show. Hey, Mark. What's going on, sir? So I'm I am a school teacher, and I can't say it's much, but we do get a steak lunch this year. Really? Yeah. Like Outback comes and caters it, or does the principal cook it on the on the grill out back? It is being catered from somewhere. I'm not sure where, but hey, it's steak. Yeah, I would guess. So my dad was my dad's uh, was in education his whole life, and so was my mom, and I don't, they never got bonuses, right? State paid jobs. I would imagine right. any state position doesn't get a bonus. I don't know. Yeah, no. But hey, steak dinner, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take a steak dinner. 
Not as good as the pizza dinner he had tonight. No, where was that pizza from, Dave? That is from Fire Pit uh, Tavern. Fire Pit Tavern. So they brought in like so good. eight pizzas, and one of them <laughs> was titled Fuego. Which, yeah. which Longori means what? Fire. Yeah, hot, a- hot. Alex is like, what does that mean? Yeah, and I said, it's hot. <laughs> Alex, it's hot. So Mike Shields got a piece of that and was basically bawling because it was way too hot. Oh, it's a little whatever. Spicy. We got him a cup of uh, a Not saucer of milk. To, to... <laughs> saucer of milk. Does that count as their bonuses? <laughs> that is their bonus. That the is food their is their bonus. bonuses. <laughs> Amy's in Griffin. Amy, welcome to the program. Hey, Mark. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, buddy. <laughs> Big fan. Um, I work for a local hospital in Atlanta, and typically every year um, we get a $40 Kroger gift card. Ooh, all right. I like that. Yeah, yeah a lot of us will donate it to patients we know are in need, but, but yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a thoughtful gift. So they'll give you a $40 gift card, and then you'll turn around and donate it. That's what I do with mine. You're so sweet, Amy. You're you're in the front runner for star of the show. I know Longoria would not give away a $40 gift card to Kroger. No, no. You would buy uh, Cascajones. <laughs> By the way, Deb Green got you enchiladas I saw for your birthday. The, the tamales. tamales. Sorry. Tamales. I got you all food. <laughs> Sorry. What would you get, Chuck? Elk steak? Uh, gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> to put in his ice cream. Yes. Beautiful. All right. Uh, Christmas bonus season is here. Real Estate Company Maryland gave up to $250,000 bonuses. What's your bonus situation at work? 404-872-0750. On Twitter and Instagram, at Mark Aram. This is The Mark Aram Show. I got to hear, Longoria, I got to hear that Jelly of the Month Club uh, audio one more time, if you don't mind, my friend. Pop me up. What is it? It's a a one-year membership in the Jelly of the Month Club. (laughs) Oh, God. Clark, that's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year. That it is, Edward. I think in all of the movies, that's indeed. the only time he only called him, ever called him Edward. Uh, that's so funny. Uh, Christmas bonus situation. What do you got cooking? Real estate company in Maryland gave bonuses to their employees between fifty and $250,000. Life-changing money. Karen is in Jefferson. Karen, welcome to the show. Hi. Hey, Karen. Um, I'm a teacher as well, and we don't even get a steak dinner no. well actually we do get a steak dinner if we pay for it do, do your uh, kids give you uh gifts because my my girlfriend's a teacher and sometimes her kids will give her christmas gifts do you does that still happen yes actually i teach third grade so we tend to get really nice gifts actually yeah. but you know there are other teachers like the support teachers or high school teachers yeah who get nothing yeah that's true so. I, um that reminds me Remind me when we come back. I, I need to know if I need to give Christmas gifts to the following people when we come back. Remind me on that. All right. More of your calls. Does Alex Williams know this food? Still to come. Big breaking news in the world of little Sanjay. We're going to have fun on a Tuesday. 404 750 It's the Mark Aram Show on WSB. How are you? And you're listening to the Mark Aram Show. How lucky are you? According to my super scientific Twitter poll, 78% of respondents do not receive a Christmas bonus at work. We're talking about Christmas bonuses. Maryland real estate firm doled out $10 million in surprise bonuses at their Christmas party. Recipients receive between fifty dollars and $250,000, depending on how long they've been with the company. Talking Christmas bonuses, past, present, and future. Deb Green found some information on some Christmas bonuses. What did you find there, Yeah, Deb? so it says 67% of companies across the United States do not give out any type of bonuses. Wow. And then those that do, the average is $858, again, depending on service with the company. So that's still a that's decent a amount bonus, of change. Yeah, yeah, but only 23% of companies give them out. Right. But I guess any government worker, I guess, Chuck, none of them, right? When you were in construction, did you get a Christmas bonus? <laughs> no. Do you, do you get a Christmas bonus from the Revenant? No. Really? Yeah. Erickson doesn't break you off some no. Omaha steaks or something? Mm-mm. Nothing like that? <laughs> no. Omaha steaks. That bacon wrap filet he talks about? Those cutlets. Those... No. For, uh, listen, for I, I love the kid, but he can't stop talking about cooking and food without bringing some freaking food to the station. I know, right? He's like, oh, I got the best cookie, gingerbread, nut bog, whatever. I know. And then, what did I say? Gingerbread, nut bag. Yeah, nut bag. <laughs> I don't think that's what he said. <laughs> Tell him to, you know, bring in some sweet treats know, once in a while. Anyway, your thoughts on Christmas bonuses. Nick joins us in Woodstock, Georgia. Nick, welcome to the Mark Aram Show. Hey, Mark. Thanks for having me. My pleasure, um, buddy. 
Um, so I used to work for a, a pretty well-known outdoor retailer over in Ackworth, and we didn't get any kind of uh, money bonus, but uh, we did get a, uh, a uh, baked honey-glazed ham. Uh, each of the employees got one of those to take home to our families for a uh, Christmas dinner. So I like that. Pretty That's pretty better than the Jelly of the Month Club, I think, a big old ham. When you worked at the uh, not-to-be-named big uh, outdoor retailer, did you get, like, an employee discount on stuff? Um, certain items, uh, things like... Uh, uh, stuff over like firearms and ammunition, we didn't get uh, discounts on, okay. but uh, everything else like clothing and stuff like that, we did. So, but well, do, uh, you, do you remember what it was like percentage wise? Uh, I think it was uh, like a fifteen or twenty percent okay. uh, discount. So. Decent, decent. All right. I always wondered about. Oh, here's the question. You didn't remind me, Longoria. All right. So I always give my mailman a Christmas uh, gift, Christmas bonus, okay. bottle of liquor, gift card, whatever. But now, I'm thinking I'm I'm shortchanging like. Garbage men? Do you give your garbage men something? No. No, because they're all different. It, 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 I have the same, same guys. Like, yeah, literally. I don't. It's different. But do it, since I have the same guys, should I do it? Yeah, you should. Do you have a lot of garbage? Well, I mean, an average amount. I don't think <laughs> I have a lot. But, I mean. We pay for garbage in our cul-de-sac, so it's not run by the county. So yeah. I feel like they're getting paid no matter what. Yeah. But, I mean, I see, the, like, I see the guys every week. I'm out walking the dogs when they come, mm-hmm. when I get off in the morning. I'm thinking, I, I don't know, what do I tape a gift card to the top of the lid or something? Or I, would, a, I mean, you I have to actually probably hand it to Yeah, you. I don't yeah. think that would last. And here's the other question. Um, I'm not naming names, Maya. I get an Amazon <laughs> delivery to my house every single day. Right. Mm-hmm. But that's probably a different delivery that's person, right? Different. So I don't they need to tip did, the yeah. Amazon guy. So the trend no, no. there that's going around line is people leave out like snacks and oh, stuff yeah. for yeah, Amazon seen... and they'll put like by the door. It's like, hey, delivery driver, help yourself to these snacks. So you'll yeah. see that like online. That. Yeah. Of course, my dogs would eat whatever snack I put in the bowl. Well, it's outside. outside. The... They, you don't leave your dogs yeah, outside. outside. Like, you know, like trick no. or treaters, when you don't want to deal with those little yeah. creatures, yeah. you just put the. Yeah, just put the bowl outside. I'm leaning toward giving my garbage men, though. I've had the same dudes for years. They're good. Yeah, you can. Yeah. And they'll always, like, they'll take stuff that's not supposed to be. Supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. I'll give them, like, mm-hmm. a, a fitty. I'm like, will you get rid of this <laughs> Peloton? <laughs> 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 and they're like, yeah, hey, I'm going to do that. All right, my mind's made up. Right. Kentucky Fried Lee joins us on the Mark Aram Show. What's going on, Lee Bird? Hey, how's it going? Excellent. Christmas bonuses for my uh, my fellow tribesmen. What do you do? Well, uh, first of all, happy Hanukkah, because I know I won't. See you in the next few weeks. Correct. Back uh, at you, buddy. Let me uh, give you a history on bonuses with my working history. When I first started working in the mid '80s, uh, the company I worked for we got a holiday bonus of a thousand dollars plus a hundred dollars per year of Ooh, seniority. I like that. So that was cool. That company has since been bought out by a big corporation, and you don't see squat. Uh, the company I work for now, I'll leave unnamed gives us a $30 Kroger card and takes takes ta- uh, takes taxes out on it. Oh, really? That sucks. That, yeah, it does. Now, I'll give you a history of my wife's company. She works for a major company through three mergers. Uh, 30-odd years ago when she went to work for them, every year we had a big party at some hotel in Atlanta. Yeah. And every year it got just a little bit smaller. Now... We're just happy she has a job. I hear you. That's that's the been their uh, evolution. Uh, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Q Lee. That's been the evolution of the WSB Radio Christmas Party. I like it now. It's like, are you guys all going? By the way, yeah. Deb says, yeah. Uh, Chuck's going. He's got to sit. No, his girl's out Obviously. of town. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's like, partying every night. Now. It's at a, it went from a big museum to a, a bar, but we have fun. It's cozy. I love it. Oh, I, yeah, I like our Christmas party a lot. All right. When we come back, more of your calls. Does Alex Williams know this food? 404-872-0750. It's the Mark Aram Show on 95.5 WSB Atlanta's News and Talk. We'll get back to the uh, Christmas bonus talk in just a second. Reminder, Clark's Christmas Kids continues to find a location near you. Go to WSBRadio.com, helping Georgia's Foster's Kids. We're going to help a kid from the traffic team, Alex Williams, in here. Uh, Back in the saddle, you were out for a couple days. You feel better, buddy? Yep. Not right. much better. It was All under right. the weather, but back in it. All right. Uh, the return of does Alex Williams know this food? Alex, of course, a great traffic reporter, great dude, great dog sitter, just horrible at knowing what foods are. But I gave you an easy one. I knew you're under the weather, so uh, I'm going to give you, you that a lot. I know this. Is, I think. Yeah. Does Alex Williams know this food? Does Alex Williams know this food? Sorry. That boy don't know what that is. All right. Here we go. The food tonight, Alex Williams, and I'm I'm pretty confident you're going to know what this is. 
The food is crab rangoon. Crab rangoon. I know what it is. Deb, I think, even though she doesn't eat, I think she knows what crab rangoon is. <laughs> Does Alex William know this food? Crab rangoon, Alex. Is that like crab pasta? <laughs> 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 really? Are you that messing with me? That does not no. know what that is. Uh, I, I literally gave you a layup. Chuck's from uh, Missouri. Whitefish, Montana. Whitefish, Montana. Excuse me. You know, you know what crab rangoon is, don't you, Chuck? Absolutely no idea. No, really? See? Longoria? Are you, are you serious? You don't know what that is? Never even of course of I know what that is. It's like a fried wonton filled with, with cream crab cheese and crab. and crab at Chinese restaurants. Can you just call it a why not? Yeah, I know what it's called. It's called a wonton. <laughs> yeah, but no, this is a crab want rangoon. It's, it's got cream call, cheese and crab, crab in it. Rangoon. It's fried. It's different. It's called a wonton oh, crab. Oh, little guy. Let it's me like, hear... Sometimes I'll have egg roll. Like an, It looks like an egg roll, too. Sometimes, sometimes but... yeah. Let's, uh, let me hear Randy again say that Alex didn't know that. That boy does not know what that is. You, do you eat Chinese food ever? Tea. Yeah. Have you ever seen it on the menu, crab rangoon? Probably, but I, you know me. I'm just, I just stick with the same thing every time. All right, fair enough. What, yeah. is, what is your what do, Yeah, thing? what's your go-to? Uh, for Chinese, you usually get like some sesame chicken. And uh, some uh, shrimp fried rice. Wonton soup? Yeah, wonton soup's good. All right. Well, feel better, little guy. Thanks, man. Don't eat crab rangoon when you're sick. You can stick with the wonton soup. <laughs> Thank I, you. I thought for sure he was going to get I that did one. too. All right, I feel better for him that Chuck didn't know either. But what is there, like one Chinese restaurant in Montana? I don't even think there's one. They have 12 saloons. <laughs> they have a lot of bars. <laughs> yeah. Todd's in Alpharetta. Todd, what's your Christmas bonus situation, my friend? What's up, Mark? I um, I work for a software company. I've been there for about 15 years, and we have a thing called FFID, first Friday in December, mm -hmm. and they want to make sure that we get bonuses before Christmas. So we get um, we get one check from our company, kind of based on your salary grade. Mm -hmm. That one's about four thousand after oh, taxes. Wow. Yeah, and then uh, we actually get a second check from our parent company, which is um, they make a lot of uh, profit, and they gave us about double. So we got about 5000 after taxes for that one. Dang. And, I need to get in the software business long ago. Yeah. <laughs> I know. And then it gets crazy. And then in February, we get about 20% of, um, of our bonus because we get 80% in, in December, and they give us the other 20% in February. And then on top of that, they put 12% of your salary into a profit share for you. So Now you're just bragging, dude. Yeah, yeah that's just crazy, just man. That's stop. why I've been there for so long. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. I would take one of those things, and he gets all of them. James is in Loganville. James, welcome to the Mark Aram Show. Hey, what's going on? What up, brother? Oh, nothing. <clears throat> so they did away with our Christmas bonus last year, but instead they decided to give us an extra dollar an hour above our scale. How did that work over the, the over the year, though? That might have worked out even better. Well, you think about a 40-hour week for a full year, that's two grand. Two grand, yeah. You get, you get overtime, that's a, you know, that's a dollar fifty now an hour. Look at that. James so. did the math for me there. I appreciate you doing the math <laughs> for me there, James, because I was thinking in my head so, how much, uh, yeah. Me, that, that's, that's a lot better because it's not taxed at that high rate now. Exactly right. Your, maybe that's what, uh, maybe job. that's what I should do with the Mark Aram Show bonus. Give you, an, give you like $10 a week. Over the years. So you... <laughs> well, I, I could care less because I ain't getting it. <laughs> I gave not... you something last year, didn't I? Yeah, but All right. But I didn't win the star of the show. Well, yeah. you got to work harder next year. Yeah, I, so. <laughs> I love you got to outwork Deb Green. Dollars, though. I... <laughs> yeah, I'll give you 10 bucks a week. <laughs> 10 bucks a week. It's free. It's better than Jelly of the Month. Well, yeah. uh, more of your calls, Russ in Gainesville and Little Sanjay. When we come back, this is the Mark Aram Show. The Mark Aram Show is performed before a live studio audience. No. Welcome back to the show and a good Tuesday Eve to you. Mark Aram here, you there, coming up on, excuse me, 707, seven minutes after seven o'clock. This is the Mark Aram Show, heard Monday through Friday, 6 to 8 p.m. on WSB. Whole fam's here tonight. Deborah Green, executive producer of the show. Longoria, the stoic Eskimo on the other side of the takeout window. Low T screens your calls. Coming up in just a second, little Sanjay with Would You Rather, talking about Christmas bonuses. Uh, a company in Maryland doled out, surprising their employees, $10 million in Christmas bonuses. Uh, recipients got between fifty and $250,000. Do you 
now currently receive a Christmas bonus. 79% of my Twitter poll, Deb Green, say no. That's close to what your stat said, 67%. 67%. Uh, do not give out Christmas bonuses. Do you give? Do you get Christmas bonus now, or did you get one in the past? 404-872-0750, 1-800-WSB-TALK. James joins us on the program. Hello, James. Hey, Mark. Uh, long-time listener. I've called in a couple times. I'm actually a teacher here in the state of Georgia, and I do receive actually two bonuses. I receive a Bronner bonus in Christmas. It's distributed at the high school level. And then there's a second bonus, which is distributed also at the high school level for math and science teachers of approximately about $3,000 to bring me on par with a teacher who has been teaching for six years. That's a public or um, private school? That is public. Both are actually related to state laws. Okay. Um, the $3,000 bonus is related to what they call House Bill 10, which was passed in um, 2010. Um, the other one has been in effect for a lot longer, and it's basically m extra money that the districts receive, and they're allowed to distribute it among all their teachers who are certified. Interesting. Well, good for you, man. That's awesome. Get that money while you can. Michael's in Oakwood. Michael, welcome to the show. Hello. Thank hello, you for taking my call. What's up, buddy? Uh, hello. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Um, yeah, uh, I work at a manufacturing company in uh, Buford, and uh, we have a Christmas bonus of about... 500 400 or so per year um but it's conditional on which uh <clears throat> all the employees if they want to get a christmas bonus they have to submit a um brag sheet of all the things that they've done oh, in really? addition to their regular duties oh that or would kind of won't get it i don't i would yeah. be a i'd be too lazy to do that the brag sheet and b that's just awkward like yeah yeah i i waited to the last minute and just you know thought of a lot of yeah. stuff that i did but uh but i guess if you want the money you got to do it but that, that just seems really awkward like um what you got to kind of prove that you yeah did what something? would you put on your brag sheet longoria for this mine year? yeah uh take care of all your commercials yeah yeah that's about it you know the best thing podcast you do for podcast yeah yeah. Brag podcast. Sheet. yeah just find someone that you know like use me as the scapegoat yeah. and just compare yourself to someone who doesn't do very much <laughs> and that way you can it seems like i do way more than chuck yeah so that's what i'm saying like there. exactly you yeah but hr would be like everyone does way more than <laughs> <Yeah>. chuck 404-872-0750-1800 wsb talk it's time for Would You Rather with Little Sanjay. He's the guru, the soothsayer, the truth seeker, the asker of unanswerable questions. He joins us every Tuesday and Thursday at the Mark Aram Show. He's Big Sanjay with Would You Rather. How are you, buddy? My man, I'm doing well. Uh, we'll get into the weekend's happenings after uh, we play Would You Rather. Is that cool? You got it. All right, so Sanjay, Sanjay excuse me, calls up and asks us unanswerable questions. We try to answer them here in studio, and I want you to play along in your car and try to answer them as well. What's the first question, Sanjay? All right, we're going to start off easy. Would you rather stub your toe or step in dog view with a shoe on? Stub my toe. I step in dog view too much, and if you have a... A shoe with a, a grid on the a tread. Mm. It's it's those it's, are the worst. I've thrown shoes out. out. Yeah, I've thrown shoes out. Yeah. So I'll stub my toe. Mm, yeah, I'll stub my toe. My feet are so mangled from dance. Like I can't feel anything really? anymore. Oh yeah. Can we see them? No, you don't want to. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> Trust me. Yeah, that's a creepy I'm not I'm not a fetish guy, but yeah, well, you, I mean, when creepy. someone says their their stuff's mangled, I would like. You do kind of want to see it. Remember Mr. Deeds? Yes. Yeah. When he pulls the black when he has yeah. black frostbite. Yeah. He foot. takes the metal thing and he slams his foot. That's what I'm envisioning your feet looking like. Chuck. I go into murderous rage, stubbing my toe. I would much rather step, step in, dog in dog poo. Step in dog poo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Stub my toe as much as it hurts. I don't like stepping in dog. No. You have a three-legged dog. I do. Does that dog poop less because it has less one less leg? <laughs> Believe me, he does not poop, not poop. less because right. he has. Just curious. And would you about say as much long... as the Great Dane does? <laughs> would you say long story? <laughs> I said I'd rather stub my toe as much as it hurts. Yeah, it sucks, but dog yeah. poo in the shoes. Well, yeah, it's, it's the yeah, worst. You and you're right with it. if you have grids on, like, yeah. it's that's it's awful. Horrible. All right, next, good question, Sanjay. Next one. All right, number two. Would you rather get back all the time you've ever spent looking for light switches in dark rooms, or? get back all the time you've ever spent figuring out unfamiliar showers i'm an actually an expert on unfamiliar showers so let's say you get a hotel room guys okay and you're driving to texas to see your mom long and you yeah. stop in 
Louisiana, and you get a hotel right, room. Right. And you go, you get the, you go to La, La, La Quinta, and okay. you go to take a shower. Mm-hmm. I'm an expert of turning that dial precisely to the best temperature. Like it's, it's my superpower. Like I always go, I, I just have this sixth sense. Like, all right, I do it. You okay, know, Costanza, ten thirty. <laughs> like I turn the dial to ten thirty. It's gonna be perfect. So I have no problem with that. So I don't ever lose much time looking for whatever the hell that first thing was. Light switches, Light switches. Dark rooms. Yeah, I don't have... Light switches in the dark. Yeah, no, I'll, so I'll do that one because that's not really an issue for me. I'm an expert dark worker around my house. Like, I don't need... I can kind of know yeah. where everything is. I know where to step, and I never trip over anything. You're but, a ninja. You don't have so, kids. Exactly. But <laughs> I've been to Europe enough, and sometimes I just stare at the shower. I'm like, I don't even know oh, where yeah. to start. Yeah. Sh- but so, I killed it in Japan. I uh, that sixth sense carried me across the, I'll uh, do the, showers. the Pacific. All right. Chuck? Uh, definitely showers. All right. Uh, do the lights, yeah. So you just call me to come to the La Quinta? Yeah. And be like, Aaron. I, I mean, I know how to turn on the showers. Yeah, but... but it's tough to adjust. Anyway, all right. Uh, Next question, Sanjay. Don't belittle right, my superpower. You, rather... for you. <laughs> you can tuck me Would in. you rather never be able to listen to music again at all or be listening to the entire iTunes library on a continuous shuffle 24-7? Meaning, so right now I'd be hearing uh, Michael Bublé or something. Yeah, Michael yeah. Bublé. <laughs> that would that would be annoying, but I, I can't not listen to music ever again. I'll do the iPad Shuffle, iPod Shuffle. I mean, it's a, everything in my library or every music out there. No, iTunes library. The, the whole iTunes library. library. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, everything. I like all kinds of crazy stuff. I'll all listen right. to everything. I don't want that running in my head. I don't need to listen to music. Yeah, that would no, interfere with the voices me, in your head. It would drive yeah, me yeah, nuts. it would counteract the yeah. voices. Yeah, no, it would drive me nuts. All right, so no music ever nah, again. All right, I'm fine. No, I'm listening to continuous music. All right, so that means Chuck, crazy. no Arlo Guthrie, no. That's fine. Uh, all right, that's fine. Next question. No Cillian. All right, Cillian would, you, would you rather? <laughs> would you rather spend ten hours in a plane or fifteen hours in a car? Fifteen in a car. Yeah, I, I can drive that distance, 15 in a car, no yeah, problem. absolutely. Without hesitation, 15 hours yeah. in a car. I'll be yeah, 30 in hours car. in a car. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, what if that number was 25? 25, 25, 25 in a car. In a car. Yeah, 25 yeah. in a car. I've, I've wow. driven, my parents live 18 hours away. I've done it multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. It, because you have more options. Yes. Like, you're not constricted. You can nope. pull over whenever you want. You can go to the bathroom whenever. You can eat whatever you want. I, not to, I'm going to brag on myself again. What That brag sheet? Mm. So we flew back <laughs> from uh, Utah for Thanksgiving, we were flying back, and I don't know, it's like a three-hour flight, three-and-a-half-hour flight, yeah. and there's like 30 minutes left in the flight, and the chick hadn't come, the t- uh, excuse me, the flight attendant. <laughs> God, that was way, that's not flight even, attendant. you might as well say that broad. Right. No, I'm yeah. sorry. That was, Is well, that on the brag sheet? That's, that's, <laughs> so three hours into the three-and-a-half-hour flight, the, the, the lovely flight attendant ha- had not brought the snack basket around. Yeah. And I was like, so we had beverages, which you know, yeah. there's a snack basket. So I said, I said, ma'am, um, can I get some cookies with my coffee? And she was like, oh sure. And then she came out with the basket and gave everyone snacks. I what was the hero were... of that flight. Huh. If I didn't ask for them, no, what got, I don't know what she was doing. If she was going to keep them for herself, I don't know what the protocol <laughs> is. But if I didn't step up, well, she didn't women. get a bonus. She's stealing it and cookies. Yes. Yeah, yeah. She's like, I'm taking all these biscoffs home. <laughs> But like, if I didn't step up and make a scene, not that I made a scene, right? But no one else yeah, would no have gotten else. snacks. So I, I was the hero. Of the did flight. you stand up and clap to yourself? No. Well, oh. I, I, as everyone got, I was like, "Did you enjoy the snacks? Did you enjoy the snacks? <laughs> did you enjoy the snacks? You're welcome. You enjoy the snacks." You pictured a wedding singer ending where everybody yeah. claps yeah. for him. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I was Billy Idol. Uh, all right. So uh, that was with you rather. Good job, Sanjay. All right. So uh, this weekend, Sanjay, tell us. Well, do you want me to tell the story? Or do you want to tell the story? Yeah, please. Your your, your storytelling is all right. So Sanjay and his girlfriend started. Josie sent out this invitation for a housewarming slash Christmas party at their beautiful home. And uh, little did the folks know that this was a surprise wedding, that everyone went to the, the party, and it wasn't just a housewarming party. It was Sanjay. Well, I don't know what was the, Who was that Indian guy that performed the ceremony? What was his deal? Pastor, uh, my preacher? Buddy, my buddy, Umar. Umar. What, does he have a title, or he just does weddings? Uh, he, is, he is ordained from the Internet Church of okay, Wisdom. Okay, fair enough. There you go. Of Internet Wisdom. Church of Wisdom. Yeah. So all these yeah. people show up to Sanjay's house thinking it's a, a housewarming party. And slash I was, Christmas party. Slash there Christmas party. There's people dressed that look like Christmas. Yeah, and I was one of maybe five people that knew what was going to happen. Because Sanjay had this, and I have this deal. We've been both dating our girlfriends the 
similar amount of time. We both had this deal. Hey, if we get engaged, give the other guy a heads up or it's going to come. So Sanjay gave me this heads up. So I knew it was going to be a wedding. And uh, everyone at the party, 95% of the people didn't know, including Longoria. Yeah, I had no who, idea. Who barely showed up for the nuptials. He got <laughs> there right as the ideas were I was were wondering why on. Sanjay was, was uh, bugging me to get there on time. Yeah, but yeah. exactly. Um, so all the people there, it was funny because Josie, yeah, I can say your name. I've already said it, I guess. Yeah, of yeah. course. <laughs> so they were like, it, like Sanjay did his whole, like this huge tent, and it was catered. There's a band. And I was talking to this, uh, this woman uh, who actually listens to the show, and she's like, Sanjay better not propose tonight because Josie would kill him to propose in front of a bunch of people like this. She was, And I was sitting there going, I don't <laughs> oh, think he's going to propose. Yeah, that's, that's hilarious. That's already bad. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, and, and other other of Josie's friends were like, oh, if Sanjay proposes, she's going to stab him. Like, she won't. <laughs> <laughs> so Sanjay gets on the microphone, stab and him. he's like, so a uh, little announcement here. Two weeks ago, Josie and I were going on a hike. I got down on one knee. We proposed, and surprise, it's not a housewarming party. It's a wedding. And jaws dropped. It was awesome. It was great. The wedding was awesome. It was so much fun, Sanjay. Thanks for uh, for inviting me. That was that was really really cool, buddy. Uh, I'm glad you could be there. I mean, you pay me like majority of my income, so that's I true. It was important. And the Christmas <laughs> yeah, bonus, to. yeah. You know the Christmas bonus coming. Yeah. I mean, this is it was very important. No, come on, you're one of my best friends. Can I ask you a financial yeah, question? <laughs> Absolutely. How much did that tent cost to rent? Because that tent was baller. Let me tell you. The whole rental, the chairs, the tables, the tent, two thousand bucks. Wow! All right, that's not bad. That's not Affordable. bad at all. All right, Affordable. good Affordable. job. Affordable. 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 Actually, actually, my people at the rental place—that's the name of the place. Uh, Vino at the rental place. Uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. I talked to a lot of rental places, and this place was. By far the most affordable, and they did a great job. All right, I free no plug for them. Plan. Thank yeah. you, Sanjay. Well, congratulations with <laughs> a beautiful wedding. Maya was in tears. Longoria's wife, by the way, smoke show. She looked so oh, she hot. She just cut her hair. That's oh why we were late. God, yeah. she walked in. I was like, oh, we were late. I was like, Leslie, what up? <laughs> Maya's like, stop staring. Stop staring. She's hitting me. Uh, he's the official accountant of the Mark Aram Show. You can find him on Facebook. Brass Tax Accounting or just what's the that funky website you got? Brass.tax. Yeah, it works. Believe it or not. Brass.tax. Uh, congratulations, Sanjay. Thank you. All right. Deb just yawned. <laughs> Deb's done with Sanjay. <laughs> Have a good night, buddy. We'll be right back with Russ in Gainesville. This is the Mark Aram Show. <laughs> Garam on 95.5 WSB, Atlantis News and Talk. Russ in Gainesville joins us on the Mark Aram Show. Russ has been a, a, a busy lad in the last 24 hours. What are you up to now, Russ? You still in coming? No, I'm in Gainesville now. And but, uh, who's the lucky lady on your arm tonight, my friend? Well, I, I had Leslie. I took her home. But I got to tell you this. This is crazy. Yeah. Because remember the doctor I used to date? Yes. A very, you actually dated a real doctor. Yeah, she's listening right now. She called me today, and she said, listen, I went out with this guy a couple of times, and this guy, he's stalking me now, and he won't leave me alone, and calling me, saying all kind of weird stuff. Will you, will you call him and tell him to leave me alone? I said, yeah, what's your number? Okay. Yeah, so I did. And what did you say, what did you say to the guy? Well, he didn't answer the phone, uh, so I called it twice, but I left two messages, and I were, can't really say on the radio. You weren't threatening, I though. You, I mean, you, you just have to be polite and you say, know, listen, the Dr. Johnson know. wants you to leave her alone or something like that. Well, Leslie said something to him, too. Leslie called him, too. It was funny because we said, you know, listen, you need to leave her alone or we're going to you know, get you No, no, up, you but. can't. Don't don't make threats on voicemail, Russ. Just be, say, be polite and be like, listen, she's not interested. You need to stop uh Stop harassing her. Be be very simple, polite, no threats. Just, you know, be a gentleman about it. Well, tell me that now. Well, you didn't ask Monday me before. Quarterback. You didn't you didn't ask me before. I love I love the and this this is a doctor. I think she's a cardiologist or something, Chuck. Didn't she? She's call? been on the air before. Yeah, she called. Like this is a professional, yeah. successful woman. Yeah. Russ, you must uh, I don't know choices. what's going on with Russ's pheromones, but you got the Kavorka, my friend. Hey, you know, I was I said the same thing. She was in Augusta, and she called me. You know, yeah. I thought that's pretty cool. Well, if if nothing else, Russ is a dependable chap. You can count on Russ in your time of need. 
Hey, what can I say? All right. So you're alone right now, just to confirm for the calendar. I am alone right now sitting at Burger King. I just ate. All right. What would you have real quick? Uh, Whopper Jr. and onion rings. All right. Solid order. Johnny Kibasa would uh, would be pleased. Russ, always a pleasure, my friend. When we come back, more on Christmas bonuses. And I got to talk about Tom Selleck. Yeah, it'll be fun. Trust me. 404-872-0750. This is The Mark Aram Show. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, this is Ray Liotta, and you're listening to the Mar... Mar uh, he packed in the animals two by two, ox, a camel, and a kangaroo. Packed him in that ox so tight, I couldn't get no sleep that night. Roll the sun, Shep and ham, tell me about the master play. Oh, my. Welcome back to the show, 736, 24 in front of 8. Uh, let's see, today's Tuesday. That means Wednesday, Thursday. We only have three more full Mark Aram shows left of the year. Clark's Christmas Kids continues. All the details. Available at WSBRadio.com. Thank you. I had to drink that water. <laughs> um, remind me to talk about Tom Selleck in a second, Longoria. i got to play some audio. We're talking about the Christmas bonuses. Want to get all the folks that have been on hold for way too long, including Dee and Monroe. Dee, welcome to the show. Hi. Hey, Dee. <laughs> Hey, Mark. How are you? I'm doing great. How about you? Excellent. What, did you get a Christmas bonus this year? Well, I hope so. But let me just tell you, I've worked for a company for 12 years. It's a small construction company. My first bonus was $13.64. Seven <laughs> years later, <Yeah. laughs> um, I got a surprise call from my boss. It was $1,500. Oh, my $1, gosh. $1, yes. And then um, last year, and it's just how it varies. So, and then last year we got a two hundred and fifty dollar gift card, Visa gift card. I'll take that so, too. Hey, I'll hey. No for, complaints. What was here. that first bonus again? That might set the record for the cheapest bonus. <laughs> I worked there for six months. Yeah, and it was thirteen dollars <laughs> and sixty four cents. So a, a guy posted on my Facebook page. He got a pen and a ten dollar Starbucks card. So depending on how nice the pen was, that might be cheaper yeah. than the $13 to set. But, yeah, you, went, you moved be. up the, the ladder. That's awesome. I would take those bonuses. John's in Gainesville. John, welcome to the Mark Aram Show. Hey, Mark. How are you? What up, Johnny boy? Uh, no, indeed. My uh, Christmas bonus, we get one every year, and it's the same as we get on Thanksgiving. It's like a $25 gift card to either Publix or Visa card or Honey Bake Ham. Yeah. But if we hit our sales numbers and our EBIT, we get quarterly bonuses. Ooh, that must be nice. I'm on track this year for 12% of my annual salary. Dude, that's awesome. Congratulations. So any anywhere between like – Eighteen hundred and twenty five hundred bucks a quarter. Well, that's that's fantastic. So I get if, if we hit our numbers. So I we you know we don't get Christmas bonuses from the station per se. No, we'll get uh, they throw the Christmas party, and usually we will get some sort of swag like a shot glass or something. I don't know if they still do that. No, they don't. No, they don't do it anymore. <laughs> Not to uh, us. I don't know about but you. We get no. quarterly ratings bonuses. Do you get them for Erickson Show, Chuck? Are you on the bonus schedule? Yeah, there? when we hit it. When yeah. you hit it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's not guaranteed, but if you're you finish blah blah blah, you get quarterly bonuses there. And when we hit them, it's a very nice surprise. When you don't hit them, you're like, oh, I'm eating ramen again tonight. Yeah, I've been eating ramen all year. Yeah, yeah I was just gonna say. Thanks, Mark Aram. <laughs> Barbara's up next on the Mark Aram show. Hello, Barbara. I'm, you, I'm eating up. Hey, Barb. Hey, Mark. Yes, ma'am. Am I on? <laughs> you are on the air. Listen, dear, I get you from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. No way. That's awesome. Tyler Cripper. Uh, who? You know, uh, way down there. But, uh, you know, I get, I get, I, well, I can get you guys just as vividly as I do now. That's amazing. Do you know Megan, it Pennsylvania? Is. KDKA Pittsburgh. Yeah. Legendary All station, right. KDK. Talk to me, talk to me quick. Yes, Barbara. How is how is your holiday going? Everything good? Everything is fine. Yeah. I'm blessed, honey. Beyond, my sister has all the time. I had to go see her. You know. Where is she in a home or where is she at? No, she got a Cadillac. What? You hear what I say? Russ and Gainesville used to have a Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, we are 
are blessed, aren't we, Mark? We are so I've been blessed. Trying to get you for years. Listen, Barbara, I want to know: Do you want a Mark Aram Show Christmas card? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well that would soothe my heart. Okay, I'm going to put you on hold. Chuck, okay. Uh, Chuck's you new- get all the information. Yeah, Chuck will get your mailing address, and then we'll send you a Mark Aram Show Christmas card. How about that? Ooh, honey, I've, I've been trying. I said that Mark gonna come out with. <laughs> Hey Barbara, can I can I ask you to say a line for me before you go? I ain't going nowhere. I've All been right. holding for twenty minutes. I know. I'm so sorry. I want you to say. Don't worry about that. I want you to say this phrase. You ready? Zero set go. The Mark Aram show. Say that. The Mark Aram show. One more time. The Mark Aram show. The most fun you can have. The most fun you have. You know why I'm gonna say it. Legally, you're a child of God. <laughs> Legally, <laughs> wait a minute. Now say, I got to start all over. No, no, no. Legally. You're good. Say, just say legally. Legally, L E. <laughs> While sitting in traffic. Man, I quit driving. <laughs> I've been retired. Talking you don't about have to. Bonus. You don't have to. Just say the phrase. While sitting in traffic. While sitting in traffic, yo. There you go. Barbara, hang on the line. Longoria, I need that audio, my friend. We're all right. <laughs> okay. We're making, we're making a new promo. Barbara, uh, give your email, uh, your note, your mailing address to Chuck. That was fantastic. Harper's in Marietta. You got to follow that, Harper. Hi. Well, we can't follow it because this is Harper and Crystal from the Publix. Oh. Uh, say hi, Crystal. Hello. <laughs> Which Publix? The Publix, when we met you with the, I think it was food, yeah, the food bank. Yeah, and Vinings, the Vinings Public. Yeah, the Vinings Public, and I had George W. Bush with me, my son. That's right. How um, is little George W. doing? <laughs> he was fine. Say, hey, W. <laughs> this is fantastic. What's going on, yes. Harper? How can I help you? Well, I'm calling because I work for the Home Improvement, whose corporate offices are here, Yeah. you know, in Cobb. And we don't get Christmas bonuses per se, but they feed us so much, you don't need Christmas dinner. Oh, all right. I, like, listen. like every day, all day. That is the one benefit of working in radio is is the free food. Deb, Deb, yeah. By the way, I just had some free food. Jennifer Griffey's. Uh, Jennifer Griffey's. Uh, wh- uh, who's the hoe, Jennifer? Idaho. She just, uh, b- before the news, she's like, go try this pumpkin bark that I have in the newsroom. Did you pumpkin try that? Pumpkin bark? Pumpkin no, she bark. did not let me have any pumpkin bark. Don't have it. It's like pumpkin and chocolate. It was not very I good. I can't do you, Edgar. Yeah, I know. Edgar didn't have any either, Jen. Uh, Don't do the third Crystal, one. With- <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm and, not that. <laughs> What's that, Harper? I'm Crystal, sorry. Crystal wanted to say that how would you rather would be, because you know it's her favorite show, she would rather stub her toe. Okay. And what'd you say? Turn on the shower. Turn on the shower. Yes. And then the playlist. Okay. She wears glasses, so she said she can't see. It's a fine. So it's always on it dark. Excellent. Well, Harper, I got to run. Tell Crystal and uh, GW, I said uh, Merry Christmas. All right. All right. Merry Christmas to you too. Merry Christmas. All right. There we you go. Burrs. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. All right. So before I get back to the phones. You all know who Tom Selleck is, right? Oh, we do. Magnum, yeah. Magnum PI. Obviously, Chuck's favorite person in the whole world. Yeah, he got really excited. <laughs> he got really upset about it. Have you him seen? I'm going to play some audio here, Longoria. Have okay. you seen the Tom Selleck commercial for the uh, reverse mortgage? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. we talked about this. I, I got to play this. Look, this is a new one. This isn't my first rodeo. <laughs> and let me tell That's you. That's what something. he tells Chuck every night. <laughs> I wouldn't be here if I thought Tom. reverse mortgages took advantage of any American senior. Or worse, that it was some way to take your home. It's just a loan designed for older homeowners, and it's helped over a million Americans. A reverse mortgage loan isn't some kind of trick to take your home. It's a loan, like any other. Big difference is how you pay it back. Find out how reverse mortgage... Uh, so, the, the best. this is the best acting job in his career. Like, he was great in Magnum, and he was on Friends, and... Mr. Baseball or whatever. Yeah. But I, I'm not a senior. I have no need for a reverse mortgage. Do you want to buy one? I do. You kind of you're interested now. <laughs> yeah, you want to go. go and look into it. Here's more selling. Mortgage, you can pay whatever you can. It's so when good it for you. Or you can wait and pay it off in one lump sum when you leave your home. 
Discover or the leave the earth. I, <laughs> oh, jeez Louise. <laughs> like, I, I am transfixed when this commercial comes on. When I'm watching cable news and Tom Selleck starts this reverse mortgage thing, I can kills I, it. He probably been investing in your home for years, making monthly yes. mortgage yes, payments. Tom. Doing the right thing. Doing the right thing. And it's become your family's heart and soul. Well, that investment can give you tax-free cash just when you need it. It's sincere. There's it's something so, very, there's something very sincere about the way he's I, I'm like the I'm lost in his eyes. Yeah. Like, I'm just like <laughs> the eyes and the mustache. Like literally, <laughs> Selick, tell me more about this reverse more. Like, but I think I've been around long enough to know what's what. I'm proud. This is the line to right be here. a part of AAG. I trust them. I think you can too. And Trust he gives that little smile, and it's like, oh, Tom. Yeah. I'll buy whatever you're selling, man. What do you got? Omaha He's a steaks. Good pitch, man. I'll take. <laughs> what, Omaha wait, hold on. Steaks. Uh, I, I'm, I like. I'm, have you seen this commercial, Dev? I don't think so. Oh my God! Like whatever this guy wants to sell, I'm gonna it's buy it. Very, it's it's very well done. It is so well done. Yeah. Like I can't wait to be a senior. <laughs> so, so you can so let into reverse buy. mortgages. <laughs> and the reverse mortgage. Listen, we've gone through like the, you know Henry Winkler did. Oh yeah, one, yeah. And, we, this, we this has been a raw, ongoing. Yeah, bit. and they whatever. What's this called? Company, AAG, AAG, whatever, I don't even know. But if Selleck's on board, I'm on board. Yeah. Like they he found trust them. Why don't there's you? something honest about there it. Is, it, is, it is the most honest. <laughs> He's like, he might as well be like, listen, I, I've, I've got nine homes. I reverse mortgaged all of them. Like, <laughs> all of them. I trust, the, I trust these guys. It's, I, I don't know. But, but Tom, so the point of this whole thing was like, he is the most uh, effective endorser of anything. Like I've never been so transfixed on a commercial that it's it's a celebrity, you know. Yeah. It's, it's usually, uh, you know, Wilford Brimley for diabetes yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Just kind like, of phone it in. Yeah, yeah. But like he sold this thing. Yeah. Like to the point where I'm like, they have his family kidnapped. <laughs> you know, that's that's how emotional he got on this thing. He's like, I've been around the block. That's why he's acting so. Yeah. Well I can, I can trust him. I, I think I think you can yeah. too. It's like, oh, take my money, sell it. Just whatever, <laughs> whatever you want, man. It's such a power. So here's the thing, Deb Green. I got to turn to you because you're the only one that gets stuff done here. Um, <laughs> I need I no, we got to try see if Tom Selleck is on that uh, celebrity site cameo. Okay. Because I want him. You want to pay him to do a Mark yes, Aaron commercial? I want him to be like, hey, it's Tom Selleck. Listen, I've been around the block, listen to a lot of radio shows on my, <laughs> in my time, but let me tell you this: Mark <laughs> Aram show, you can trust him. I can too. But whatever. I want Our him ratings to sell. Will just go up and we'll uh, get bonuses. We'll be number one. <laughs> Across the country, yeah. we just need Selick. With I, I think it needs to be a video though, because I don't know. But just listening to it, because I can't really see your screen. Yeah, I can only really listen. And I was hooked just listening yeah. to it. It's it's so good. So is he on cameo? He's not on cameo, but I'll see what I can find. Oh my else. god! I, literally, I will. <laughs> if who, we get him to do this, what seniors here need a reverse mortgage? That oh, we well, I'm with? sure plenty. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty, are there especially any, on the second floor. Are there it's any a, seniors that we work that, with here? Yeah, there's a couple somewhere. I, I think there's some on the second Hidden floor. Oh, you know what? I'll go up to the Clark's Consumer Action Center. Oh, that's, that's, the, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a room full of them. I'll I'll sign them all up for reverse <laughs> yeah. mortgages if we can get Tom Selleck. And then Clark's going to come in and tell you why that's a bad <laughs> yeah, idea. I, exactly. <laughs> I don't mad. care. I don't care. <laughs> Tom Selleck could be like, uh, you know, the Nazi Brotherhood. I, I'd, be, <laughs> I'd be like, okay, Tom. All right. Well, tell me more. Yeah, tell me more about this. Oh, you trust them, Tom. Okay. I'm on board. What, what Mind Kampf, it's a good book. You, what? All right. Yeah, tell me more. That's how powerful that was. I just wanted to play it for you. All right, we're going to finish up. We still got tickets to give away, something to give away. We do have some tickets to give away. I got some tickets to give away, uh, and we'll do Star of the Show. Spoiler alert, Mark Aram is winning Star of the yeah, Show. Oh, why would you even do it? <laughs> 404-872-0750 on Twitter and Instagram at Mark Aram. The Mark Aram Show on WSB. Mark Aram on 95.5 WSB, Atlanta's News and Talk. I just realized that we talk about the bonuses for that company. Imagine if someone quit the company like a week before the Christmas party, and they that had to happen, right? <laughs> yeah. Someone's like, you know what? Screw my boss. I've, I've put in 12 years in this company, blah, 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 and they quit a week before the Christmas party, and they Did missed they out on Costanza and yeah. they try to walk back in. Exactly. I didn't, oh, I yeah. didn't quit. Oh, that was, you, were, you thought I was being you serious? You thought I was serious? Yeah, where's my 100 grand? <laughs> uh, Frey Boone is in coming. Am I pronouncing that right? Frey Boone? No, my name is Frey Boone. 
Oh. Vitebi. Oh, okay. Frey That's Vu. way different. Vitebi. My apologies, Frey Vu. You make, you make it Frey Vu and you make it sound like I'm a baboon. Well, I'm just reading how no. Chuck, Chuck spelled it. Frey Vu. It sounds like you Frey said Vu. BD, uh, whatever. I'm going to call Let's you Frank. We'll call you Frank for Frey. the purposes of this call. You, you can call me Fred. All my friends call me Fred. All right. What's up, buddy? So, anyway, I was going to tell you, you know, you could save money by using, uh, what's his name? Uh, you could use uh, Clark Howard yes. and have him do your uh, advertisements. Because I watch these children cut the commercial. With the, if you donate, we will give you this big blanket. Is that what they're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the St. Jude's Children's Hospital. I want to adopt that exactly. little kid. But why don't they get to St. Tehran Children's Hospital? I mean, what's the big deal? I mean, I mean, we have children, too, you know, that have missing arm, missing leg. Missing I understand. Frey Boone, I got to run. We got to do Star of the Show. I'm, uh, it was an enjoyable conversation, though. Uh, Mark Aram, Star of the Show. You, you know you need right? to play the whole thing. I, I got to pad my lead. Deb, we have tickets for Lisa in Athens. What did Lisa in Athens win? Lisa's going to go see Star Wars The Rise of the Skywalker starting February 20th. Lisa, is that cool with you? December 20th. That's wonderful. All right, hang on the line. Loti's going to get some info from you. Uh, what do we got tomorrow on the show? We got Millennial Match Game. Holiday Edition. Holiday Edition Millennial Match Game with Randy from the Digital Desk. Uh, fast Food Review and other assorted goodies. More tickets to give away? More stuff? To, yeah. We're just giving away the farm. We'll continue the conversation on Twitter and Instagram at Mark Aram. Facebook, Mark Aram WSB. In the meantime, go to sleep, little baby. Go to sleep, you little baby. Guests of the Mark Aram Show stay at the All Suite Omni Hotel, located in the heart of Chicago's Magnificent Mile. 